welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. However, I've got some lovely goodies for you to have a look at. I do apologize if I look a bit disheveled. I just did a, a bit of a marathon of a shop with two kids. Yeah, I did, I did look a bit tired on that video, but I still hope you like it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm just doing a haul for you lovely people. And yeah, I've got quite a few things to show you, so stay tuned. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So today is my son's birthday preparations. He's fast asleep at the moment. And I've just got my baby girl right next to me, trying to mess with the camera. Um, I'm just gonna quickly show you a few things that we've got for him. Party decorations, these are, these are for B&M and that's three pounds, honeycombs and pinwheels. So you can like, hang them from the ceilings and things like that. So that's three pounds, we've got quite a lot in there. You can always recycle decorations. You don't just have to just use it for one event. So yeah, we've got some of those as well. We have happy birthday balloon. Well, you flake them yourself and you can use it by hand pump or electrical pump, but I'm with your electrical pump. No helium required. And this is from B&M as well, that's 2 pounds We've got some serviettes. These are comic ones from Tesco's. That goes along with these cake plates as well. These are very cheap. Do you if you're thinking about comics? Um, you can get offers sometimes with Tesco decorations. You can get five for the price of four. I can't remember how much they are. I might put it in the description. This is the wrapping paper that we got. We got Lego wrapping paper because he's a fan of Lego. And this is from Tesco's as well. Um, yeah, three meters it is. And yeah, pretty good because we can use it over the year as well. The items are cheaper basically with the cup card. Um, so I do recommend you do get one. You can save points and things and you can put them towards your next shop or days out and things. But um, yeah, so we got a couple of books because we love Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. I think that's I've pronounced it right, but we've got lots of these books. So it's quite interesting to see that there's a new book out. Um, it's called Tiddler, the Storytelling Fish. We've never had that one before, so he loves to read. We love to read to him. And we've got Oi Oi Rock, Kez Gray and Jim Fields books before. And there's another one called um, Diddle That Dumb, and a really funny book, actually. And this looks like it's the same author as well, so that would be fun to read that. We've got my tablecloth, because he likes orange, so we thought we will get in that to go with his um, price decoration, 20 centimeters by 180. Uh, my balloons as well. These were from Tesco's um, and the, those are the balloons. The balloons you get five, I think you get five in a pack. Sticky tape, which is um, a pound from B&M. So that'll be good for Christmas as well because the time of year that my son, his son's birthday is, it's towards the end of the year. So we may as well just stock up <laughs> for Christmas. Oh, and we have my birthday badge. And it's really good because you can use, um, there's different numbers on in the pack and you can just put the number of the year so we can recycle this. So I thought this is amazing. Um, so it's self-adhesive stickers and you can put them in the middle. We also got a new cake. Um, and if you don't know already, I'm, I'm really whispering here because he's asleep in my room. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got him a cake and also um, we've got these as well. So he's gonna love it. Um, it's a sparklers. Uh, I think they were like a pound, I can't remember, um, from Tesco's again. And we got some birthday cards. There's a Hallmark. Uh, he's loving Mario at the moment, so we've got that from his sister. And that was £1.50. And we got a birthday card as well from us, which is an Avengers number five. And that was also £1.50. That was a Hallmark card. So it's very nice trainers for him. These are £14 from Tesco's, the F and F Kids range. And they're laces, so we've been teaching him how to do laces. They're very grippy, and that's what I wanted this time. 
because he's got some trainers that are really nice actually from Amazon. They're lovely. They're like really bright orange and stuff and he loves them, but they're Velcro, so they're a lot easier to put on. That's not the, the problem. The problem was the fact that they're not grippy at the bottom. They're really quite good quality, to be honest, for a um, supermarket brand shoes. <sighs> Let's just show you what it looks like. The durability of it. It's from F and F. They are six pound fifty, but um, they're just as great. Um, they've got the days of the week, which I like giving them days of the week because it's kind of educating what day it is as well, and then he'll kind of recognise the, the words, the letters. Because they do a lot of phonics and things now at school, um, because he started in September, and so he's doing really well. By the way, I think I should do a vlog about that really, and just like a, a session talking about it, but. Yeah, he's doing amazingly well, um, but he's learning a lot of letters and numbers and things like that at the moment. Um, so yeah, we've got Dave's a week socks, which is £6.50. And I'll show you what one sock looks like. My favorite color. See what it looks like on my hand. I know it's, <laughs> I know it's stupid, like a puppet. It's best to see what it looks like, like rather than just me just doing that. <gasps> but yeah, this is what it looks like um, <laughs> on. We also got him pack of pants um he's now night time trained that was a kind of a struggle some days mom's dads know about the school when you've got kids who um wear nighttime nappies and you're just dreading the day when you're having to teach them about not wetting themselves in the night it's a long process but to be honest we were dreading it as parents but he did a lot of it himself because I think he was just ready. He doesn't wear nappies. And I think we were just dreading it, like how we were going to manage in the night because we've got a younger child as well. So it was just trying to think of when was the best time? Do we need to make sure our younger child is sleeping quite well in the night before we start focusing on our, on our older child, our son, about um, doing the nighttime training? We forgot. We forgot to put his nappy on. And basically after that, he just started just not not needing a nappy it was just it was just so simple we just couldn't believe it we're just like i think we were so tired the one day and we just forgot to put his nappy on we forgot to put his night nappy on and yeah he just decided he didn't need it <laughs> so he was just wearing his pants all night just, obviously we praised him quite a lot but then like moving forward just encouraged him and stuff like that but i'm digressing this is about a haul video, isn't it? I could talk forever about things like that. So maybe I will on this channel. They are seven pounds. I think my daughter's had another poo. <gasps> Every time I film, my daughter decides to have poo. <laughs> so I have to, I'm gonna have to change a bum in a minute. These are lovely. Um, he put them, he picked them himself, to be honest. Even that, hopefully he's gonna forget by the time his birthday comes that he's picked these shoes. <laughs> Because I had to do a bit of a shop with the kids, um, just to get some of the some bits for his birthday. Some, you know, like some little things just to bulk up the presents. And it's not always about presents, is it? We do we do kind of try to educate them. It's not always about presents, but you know, I I like to be practical when it comes to presents. My husband, we do like to try and balance it out a bit. Things that are practical, like the shoes, the trainers, the 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 clothes, as well as. You know the things that he finds fun toys and things like that uh, but anyway so these are two pairs of joggers uh my son's coming five but he wears a uh, six to seven sometimes seven to eight because he's quite long um so these are 12 pounds and these are six to seven so i'll insert a lot of these i'll fill them film them individually so you can see what it looks like in detail we've got the unicorn uh jumper dress i think it's like a jogger jumper dress it's a jogger hood there um it's quite quite thick so it'll be nice for the, the season change now and she's got plain leggings with that as well and it was um 12 pounds it was 12 pounds and now it's seven pounds tip so if you decide to think ahead um part of organizing your life is um if you've got you know a holiday coming up next year 
and you're kind of shopping around and you see some bargains like some swimming costumes some pair of shorts and things like that for your kids if buy for the next year from when they're that age and it'll save you a lot more money than what you'd buy it in full price because some of some of the items that i saw today were just like 70 percent off they had a pair of shorts for like three quid and like and they were originally like tenner and it's just like that's amazing to get you know really good bargains holiday shop bargains out of season it's just amazing tip so try try and do that in your local area if you can um we've got some socks ankle socks for little miss and they're a pair of 10 they're five pound each these are um my little girl's boots and they are 18 pounds only pair left that were kind of wintery type shoes that were in her size so i thought you know these are virtually the same price as getting them from kind of clocks or something i was like oh do i need to get should i get them should i not get them but i thought do you know what i'm just gonna get them um because it, they're not really grippy but they've got enough for her kind of age because she's not walking yet she's, she's definitely cruising across the sofa like holding onto the sofa and sometimes you know standing up independently but it's just not to the point where she wants to walk confidently on her own yet because she's using her walker her pushy thing quite a lot um i don't know whether you've ever seen it this is what it looks like so she pushes this along and it's really good it's by vtech uh, but you snap this on here like that and if you can feel the flash and stuff it's very noisy very very noisy but you turn it off tip it on and you can also press the footers down here yeah. so there you go so you can kind of fold it down so it's compact you see uh, these have got the laces they're very nice they're very they're velvety laces they're very very posh looking for a tesco brand and yeah and then if you see my little girl she wants to get onto them right now um but i'm showing you lovelies uh so yeah there's a zip on the side put it up for easily getting the child's foot in and loop there i don't i never know what they're for but i just use it to try and help push the foot in yeah. um yeah i've done your shoes i've done no, no, i have one. i have he's gonna try stickles on i'll show you what he's doing because me and mummy have been to shopping okay can you put your shoes on your slippers on then yeah but so we're gonna take the price tag off first I take it off drop, drop me to try and take it off mm -hmm. okay. we've got a hard floor now i'm trying to encourage um my son to wear slippers um because it gets quite <laughs> cold in in the in the morning um on the floor even though we've got like thermal underlay um it still gets a bit cold so yep he's showing you how to put his slippers on they're velcro so they're very nice how do they feel Could you? yeah i got yeah from b and m so these are LED, warm light, 60 watts, being um He goes through a lot of these bottles, but this one's quite, quite durable. It's obviously reusable, which is really good. It's got um, Spider-Man on it, and it's got a spout. It's quite a tough spout, but you've got a spout on there. It's quite a, quite a decent one. So you can de detach everything and give it a good clean when you need to. Got some toothbrushes. These are from B and M as well. I think that was like one pound nineteen. Got soft bristles, wisdom range. You are supposed to take your toothbrushes every. I think it's every three months. Um. So bear that in mind when you're brushing your teeth. Is it time to change your toothbrush? You used to have one of these, but a blue one. And I've gone through quite a lot of water bottles. I think I'm a bit of a water bottle hoarder. Um. So they do advise you to hand wash these, but there's a litre. And I need to drink a lot of water, loads of water, but to help me clear my skin, keep me clarity of mind. It's really important to have water. Two ninety nine. It's got a really good finger holder there. Um, cap, so there's no spills. I didn't get any spills when I had one of these. Um, I had a blue one before, 
and yeah it's just look how much water you can get in that like it's absolutely fantastic and if you don't like the spout bit of it, just drink it like that it's hand wash only these are bpa free <laughs> we have one child joining me um we have sale so we've got a couple of items on sale <laughs> i've got um a lovely uh Smile about so much something. Smile about so much too something. I don't know. And also got the shorts. Now, even though it looks like this is like a probably a springtime, summertime kind of light items, I'm just going to put a pair of leggings underneath so she can use it. Use it now, basically, because I really wanted the jumper and it comes in a two-piece. So um, it was £10, but the sale is now £4.50. So I've got a real good bargain with that. So I really wanted to get it have at the moment. Um, box. It's called Kugel. Is it, is it Kugel? I don't know. Kugel. Um, we got it from uh, Argos. I got it from Argos today. £50. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.